downtown Schenectady where emergency crews have surrounded a historic building. Police are telling us parts of the Nicholas building at one of the city's biggest intersections is unstable. The building's parked on the corner of Erie Boulevard and State Street downtown. Right now that intersection is close to traffic. The structure is next to the former Olander building, which crews tore down last month. That's where Kimberly Howard is live. Kimberly, do crews know what happened and how bad the damage is right now? Yeah, Ann and Cody, right now, that's exactly what they're trying to determine. If you take a look, you can see Schenectady Police, Schenectady Fire, all on the scene here, and they're very concerned about this building, this Nicolaus building, more than 100 years old, as you mentioned. I want to show you something else. Take a look over here. You can see where that demolition happened earlier in the month, as you mentioned. And if you look in the side of the building there, you can actually see what appears to be cracks in the side of the structure. One major crack in the center there in particular. Now, Tai Tai Bistro is on the bottom floor of this building. Firefighters say there are also at least three apartments on the top. The building, of course, has been evacuated since all this went down around three this afternoon. Firefighters say a demolition crew has been working in the lot next to this building. The deputy fire chief telling me they were pounding steel and may have cracked the foundation. Now, that's not all the damage. Take a look at these pictures from inside the building. They were snapped by the owner of Tai Tai Bistro. She says the whole building was shaking as they were cooking inside. And as you can see, tiles came crumbling off the wall. You know, I hope, you know, they can uh, figure out, you know, and we can reopen, you know, when everything's safe. Uh, the engineers will make a determination and uh, find out, you know, if it needs repair or it's fine. And, uh, you know, they'll either let the people back in or, or not. And the owner of Tai Tai Bisher tells me she's extremely concerned about her livelihood as well as her 10 employees since, of course, the restaurant is closed. As well as the people who live upstairs, of course, they have been evacuated, as I mentioned, and no word on when they can go back inside because we're not sure what's going to happen with this building at this point. So, of course, an extremely developing situation here in Schenectady. Of course, we'll keep you posted both on air and online. But for now, we're live in Schenectady. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.